Hi folks, Sandy Hovet here of Data Designs Publishing. I want to talk today about docking panels in InDesign and what I'm showing you will be in InDesign CS 5.5 but the process is the same whether you're in CS 3, 4, 5, 5, 5 or 6. Um, you will become incredibly more efficient and much less frustrated using InDesign if you learn how to dock the panels that you use most frequently. What you're looking at here is the, the basic uh, window of InDesign CS 5.5. Here on the right side of the screen is where I have my panels docked. This is not my typical docked panels. I'm going to show you what is typical for me, but this is similar to what you would see when you first uh, install InDesign. First let me tell you that you can move the whole thing. Now you can also resize it. Notice you can make it so small that it is just pictures when you're very familiar with InDesign and you know what those pictures mean. You can have your docked panels taking up just that little ribbon of space. But while you're learning you can make your docked panels wider uh, so that you can not only see the image or the icon but also words about the different panels that are there. Let me just show you how this works. Each of the icons or, or words indicates a panel and you open it and the panel contains uh, whatever is appropriate to that panel. For example, let me click on paragraph styles. I have no document up so I have no paragraph styles in here but this would list all of the styles in your paragraph. Notice when I clicked up here on pages you could see that I had not just pages but also layers and links. That's because in uh, because InDesign groups your panels together and you can see there is a thin line, thin kind of shaded line up there and then the three pages, layers and links um, below that. Those three panels are in the same grouping. You see another thin line. We have paragraph styles and character styles. Those two uh, panels are in the same grouping. Now if I wanted them all in one grouping I can just pull, first of all I can pull any panel out and it is no longer docked but uh, I can expand it and I can move it anywhere on the screen. I generally want to keep it docked however it's always in the same place always where I need it so I'm again going to just slide it back and notice the the uh, the grouping that I want to add it to has turned blue because that's where I have uh, that's where I've positioned it when I let go there it is in the grouping. can be a little frustrating I can pull out this whole grouping now I want to send it back and if you put if you let go of the mouse in the wrong place you can see uh, that I now have in this grouping not only pages, layers, and links, but also paragraph styles and character styles. Just changes the flavor when I click on one of these. Now each of these tabs represents one of those panels, and it's just a little harder to access the paragraph style and the character style panel. So again, I can uh, bring those, try to organize them the way I want them, and I'm going to pull it back over here. Oh, see that time I added it to the bottom panel. I didn't want to do that either. It takes a little bit of uh, practice to get the control down. There we go. Now I've got it back as three separate groupings of panels. Where do you find the panels to group? Almost all of them are found in the Windows menu. Let's say I want to add a panel. I like to have my align uh, panel docked so I can find the align uh, panel in the Windows menu. It's found under objects and layouts. I can click on it. There you go. It's brought up the whole panel and actually it's brought it up brought up a grouping that has a line and text wrap in it. I want that docked so now that it's on my screen I can just grab it and pull it over here. See the blue line? Let go of it and I have added it. Typically once you've docked something there the next time you open InDesign it'll still be there. But you can do something to ensure that. You can come over here to Window, Workspace, and New Workspace and you can name that. I'm going to call it Sandy Temporary because that's not my real workspace. And now those panels 
are available anytime if somebody else works on your computer and changes I'm sorry changes your panel layout you can come back to window workspace and change it to Sandy's temporary let me go to Sandy's workspace these are the panels that I like to have docked at all times these are the uh, functions that I use most frequently and so they are easily accessible I don't have to remember where they are buried in the work in the Windows uh, menu they're just right here on the right side of my keyboard and I typically also have it just down to the smaller ribbon size giving me more room uh, on the screen to work on my document I do want to show you one other thing about the Windows workspace menu notice that there are several options these are different setups different workspace setups so I can click on for example new in CS55 if you're if you previously had CS5 and now you've installed CS55 and you want to have a visual cue of what's new you can click on that it has docked totally different panels here those would be the new panels and also if I click on this menu you can see that it is now colored or colorized many of the menu options and those are just uh, visual clues that there is something new in uh, in those menu items that's a little too much for me I like I'm gonna go back to my workspace customizing your InDesign workspace for the way that you work will save you a lot of time and as I said earlier frustration because when you're looking for for a specific command and, and it's not docked and you haven't used it very often and you have to go looking through the menus you can get a little bit frustrated so don't be afraid of messing things up you can always go you can always reset your panels to the way it came out of the package but once you find something you like be sure to go into the Windows menu and save your workspace Thanks for watching this Tips and Tricks video blog. If there's a topic you'd like us to cover in a future Tips and Tricks, please email me at sandy at datadesignspublishing.com. Thanks so much for joining us today, and have a great one.